range racks as well. You just want to try and find more. Oh, pull him back. Kick him back. <laughs> so Lee's nearly by a fountain and Ramsey says, all right, I'll fight you here. Oh, the swap as well. Oh, the vacuum. <laughs> Forget fountain hooking. We're talking fountain agonizing. time there. He's a little bit too far away. They might as well try with the high ground push right now. They only have two minutes left on Aegis. And I don't really think they're oh. going to get a better opportunity. Oh, Jax. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 my goodness, man. Oh. The sneaky Chen. It's really hard not to go up for sure. Oh, oh, he's gonna oh God, they got two. Oh, no. Faithbeon is on the wrong side as well. That's going to end up being three dead. A great combination. Maybe Faithbeon gets out. They throw out the Echo Slam. Is it going to be enough? S4 running away. He's not quite going to drop. Oh, 67 HP. Oh, Another fuck off. Jerex is all over the damn place. He had Light Strike Array as well. Threw it back onto him. Oh, my God. This game's over. <laughs> Holy shit. That was awesome. Jerex just executed that a whole entire wing squad. <laughs> oh my god. That was so sick. You can get the silent damage. Falling low, the Scorched Earth will keep him alive. No tail. Being focused by Cuckoo, but the boulder comes out. They have this control onto Cuckoo, holding him back away from No Tail. The stomp, it connects. Tim's growing in with the ultimate, but the kick, he kicks No Tail out of range of the ultimate. Beautiful play by Jerax. Can No Tail still survive though? They're still hunting him. Is he going to be able to TP out? He is. Jerax, what a play. Kicking No Tail <laughs> out of the Earth Splitter. What a oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so sick. What a play. Ah. That's why he's one of the fans. But it's just not enough to bite through these kind of cores of OG, especially with the auras as well that, that S4 is able to offer. Jarek. Oh, he's got the stunner, but he gets heals up. He's going to get a kick off the core. Oh, oh, he does get him out of it. Oh, he's just kicked Mip one all the way away from his own, and Mip one's out, and that may have just be out of it. Seb did manage to find the top racks as it is. But Alba Gold should be able to get the trade as they're in themselves as a full team pushing forward. Jarek's just looking for the wraparound. He has got the blink and a level one echo slam, but it'll be very hard for him to close this gap as that's going to be the bottom racks taken. It's the racks trade. A racks for a racks at the moment. Illidan diving in deep past the tier threes. TP coming in from RTW. Jarek's he's looking for the zone. He's got it. Oh, Jarex! The patience paid off. A beautiful slam comes into play. As OG, they'll take the Rax trade and they'll take almost a team wipe as well. Oh my god. I mean, you saw Jarek <laughs> setting up that it was always going to be fun. He's everywhere. Yep, is doing so much. Like, Bounty Hunter's kind of like the. the the uh, box ping bounty hunter gets stunned up. Jarex is ping. He's like, I didn't bring detection. Can someone get over here so we can actually kill for bounty hunter? Nice, nice roll through order. catches him. Can he actually hit another spell? That does doesn't catch him. Jarex, are you gonna blindly go for it? Pull it back. Pull it back. He gets the kill. Dude, it's, it's like a game. Good. It's like a game of battleships. I told you, man. It's like uh, okay. Yeah. Stop no tail from getting a chrono off. They need a doom on him, and the butterfly comes out for the Dusa as well. They've got to find something here. They're already backing away from OG. They're gonna jump oh. in. What a boulder uh. smash coming at the clap will come through. The ice blast is gonna hit onto three as well. They're already gonna lose this fight. It, it literally just started. It's about to end. Eleven's gonna get dropped down. It's gonna be a triple kill for resolution and a GG called as well. So OG. Absolutely dominant performance here in the mid to late game after a rough start for Resolution. Wow, they really set uh, him up for that. So easy kill. Good job with the blast off rotation, and he's going to place a mine up at that top rune spot as well. So Techies, we're going to start seeing him move around now. And Ghostick, apparently, he doesn't even need help up here. He's running down Jerex. Jerex kiting him, though, and Ghostick, he's going to fall first. Oh, You're fine, playing to the face. I don't know if that planted tree actually did some blocks there, but that looked like it may have. On the side of OG, but now silence up on a Queen of Pain. Here come the auto attacks. They're gonna set up with the cold snap as well. The ult, the the eels. Oh, there comes a Chrono Spear though. But <gasps> the push out from Jerax comes through once again. He's on top of the plans with the air sprint. Allows resolution to come with the Sonic Wave. Heals back up to full, and now Faceless Boy is gonna end up dropping most likely. A he's already lost. Nikwa, however, no, he stays just alive enough for now. He has another time walk at two seconds. It doesn't matter. The scream comes out. He goes down. Double kill for resolution. Buy back on a face of. In a blink roar and resolution, land a flare on him. Yeah, you, you've got yourself a chance. And then T can also set up for the stun just with this. Fortunately, Skyrath Mage is. Oh, kick out. Alchemist is going to completely dodge the flare. Sick play from Jarex, and now Thug's in a lot of trouble. Oh, the, the dunk will be cancelled by the ice path, but who cares? Still got him. He kicked him out while rolling. And now they catch the Jakiro as well with the call. Resolution's here to chop up the dragon. 
Holy crap. The OG need to play together. Sep alone in this bottom lane. Gonna run into a lot of heroes. You don't want to commit so many onto the Venno, but if you can't get any abilities off, it might be enough. The Winter's Curse, though, to turn it back around. Great play. They're all caught in it. The lights are great. On the four. There's no one being well coming from the Venno. They get the set off, but it's not gonna last. They turn on Dorezzo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble as all of VGJ Storm fall. This is what happens when the pickoff is not on the Lena. Seb, the perfect bait in lane. His team encroaching. Team in the lane. OG, ready to pass. Stop. Seb gets the stun, the double force, though, creating the space for S4 to get back. They try for an avalanche, doesn't connect. Nimbus get thrown down on top of RTZ. RTZ to the side, trying to take the Nimbus. Thunder goes wrapped, used by Thompson. They'll pop the horn. RTZ just have to pop the BKB run away. Crit gets surrounded. Crit gets taken down. They'll go for the supernova. OG looking towards the side. Can they take it down? It's out. They can. They get the supernova. Samael going over the BKB. Looking towards Seb. Breaks down. Seb Banana still alive. Cuts down. Samael. Double kill for Anna. S4 trying to run himself away for Jax. Is pulled for with the right clicks gets the kill! Four dead on EG, Samael has never very to... visible, you've got a very, very low life Marana, but OG, they can't find the target, X Nova, he's got the grip, he's got the control, he's got the kill, Thompson is down, but ES is up, where the Echo Slam, oh, there he is. forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk, there's the play, Jirax, the saviour of OG! Looking for more chances now on the run. They tried to go for the GG push. They didn't get much more than this. And now look at him go. BT forward. Hit the stun. Nail the stun. Nail Chalice. Maybe not. Hex is up. Chalice still on the run. The Moonlight Shadow. It's like it never ends. It's the same with the donkey from Jirax. This guy's an NBA all-star. Looking for the kill into Chalice. Another TP coming forward. Hookshot from FY. Gets involved in the fight. The Thompson will arrive. Hexing up onto FY. The leap out. The fissure is available. Is there a follow-up? Thompson is there. They push forward. Forward. They get the control and they're bringing FY down. LGD with four heroes who do not have buyback. RP. Yeah. Bottom lane. No tail trying to set up onto Somnus. They'll remnant forward with Anna. The boat's already out though for Somnus. Somnus trying to look at the trees. He's hunting actually down No Tail. The global silence comes out. Anna not quite able to get on top of X Nova. As X Nova keeps his distance, Somnus just turning and beating down on No Tail. No Tail will go down as well as uh, X Nova. One for one at the moment. The sentry's down here from OG. They have eyes on Somnus. Seb still holding him for the side. Then there'll the be a buyback from No Tail. The boat, the stolen boat, the RP coming through. They're jumping in. The web boys there with a the slam, ready to hold off of the fight. But Chalice is so low. Chalice is going to go down. PSG OGD. They've lost three F5 with the TPL, won't make it! The slide of this, the change! Anna catches out the Shaker, can he team me back in time before the curse kills him? Yes, he He's can! Alive. Well, that's exactly what you talked about, the storm. And then he got RP back up on set. It's both teams, ready to fight around the pit. Seb, can he find a chance with the RP? Chalice on the high ground, they're gonna head into the pit, OG. They're confident, knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play. Arme getting sprouted. Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. He That's going to be Arna dead, but Anna buys back straight away. Arme moving in with the BKB. Roche is still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson. The slight, the change, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice, Global. but now Anna, he's in the middle of it all. Yules it himself up the flame guard, ticking it right now. Let the side of this. The RP. Seb, he's got the control. Hold to Arme. As OG, they fight three. They look Towards Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. Oh the buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down. They get the team wide triple kill for Anna as he buys back. Committed to going for the high ground. Yeah, that was But really the problem weird. is the, the Keeper of the Light and the Shaman, they can't really follow up on that with the rest of the heroes. So I think they have to be more patient there. And Rezo. You can't get caught out here. You absolutely cannot die, and he's completely alone. He's gonna Shikuchi out. Oh, he hit him! Cuts a blind oh my from Jerex! Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, God. He's dead for two minutes. Did oh, he even have vision? That's another thing that OG is having to be massively concerned about. Thompson back to him in the middle lane. Swarm is up. And the bad Juju minus armor. He'll survive. ILTW goes down at the top lane, though, to Meepo. And Thompson's still probably gonna die. Afterlife is in. However, the snowball save initially, that earns taking them down. This is good. Great shard block coming out from Jerex and keeps Thompson alive. Are you or kidding me? Can kill Morphling. He, he's definitely really good. Especially now that Morphling has no replicate anymore. So you can't just blink out. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was just a cute play or something. <laughs>
Ags on the face, but right. he's going straight Ags, no blink. You do this because you're playing against so many methods of blink cancellation. Whenever you're against globals like Zeus and Spectre, who needs blink? You remove the Zeus as a counter <laughs> to your hero, and oh god, Jerex. Yeah, he you locked him in with boy. a Fissure once again. Spire Carapus comes all a little too late, no TP, at least he can get the double stun, but where do you run? Fissure's off cooldown in five seconds time, he's gonna make a break for the tree line. There is no other support coming to help out Jirax. He can buy a TP scroll, he'll dodge the Fissure, 13 no. seconds for the TP to that come off cooldown. Wasn't a dodge, that was mind control blocking off the bottom area because he recognizes that he can only get juked if Jirax goes down, mm -hmm. and this actually is gonna guarantee Keep kill. running Jirax, keep I running. Think. You got this Jirax. Just believe. Belief is the path to freedom. He's juking it around the side. Mind control, does he see him? He's wondering. Fisher, Spike Carapace, Jirax begins his TP. He's actually gonna get away from this one. Belief is rewarded. <sighs> Not bad. Mind control, you see up. Is there a Fiend Script? It's on cooldown, it's already being used. And it's got the Blade Fury. Anna still has ulti. Yeah, Ember Spirit is out of the Remnants. Yeah, they throw out the RP. That's going to be a Nightmare to try and save him. Sumail's out of mana. Sumail's dead, and they're going to lose Sven as well. Anna with a double kill for his team. Only got the one kill. Godlike Streak on Arteezy is ended as S4 does not have borrowed time, and the Blade Fury is just going to look to chase him down. Jerex with the stuns. His buyback coming into play there. They should go straight into Roche, but they still have a healing ward. I think he's a funny hero. Look at this. He's really funny. Dude, look at this. They're, they're gonna sandwich Vici Gaming right now. They're actually gonna chase him into the mines that Jerex has laid out by the tower. If they try and go back to the tower, they're dead. Paparazzi's just running straight left, but instead he runs into a stasis trap. He does manage to blink himself away, thanks to the Euphonic Shield, a fast blink out. And now an arrow nails Zeb. Paparazzi says it's time to come back. The reinforcements are here. The call has been made. Vici Gaming gonna just kite out and he'll slowly take away. They're look at OG, they're, the all, they're just making it to the mines. They're saying, please, no, Jerex, save us anything. But but VG Gaming have oh, no remorse. The no tail to the mines. Into into the mines. Blow it! Oh, 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 it gets oh, the ultra oh, kill! Oh, gee, they got wiped, but at least they brought VG King. <laughs> oh, maybe he was mining the bottom side first. Oh, we got the arrow on Anna. Anna, taking a lot of damage. They don't want to over. They're trying to get back though. to they the mines. They're just trying to get to the mines. No tail. Doesn't have a force staff for anything. I feel like this is kind of obvious as they do have the detection down. Tops is going to jump right in, though. He does have the Wukong Span. Gets it out before the Untable concoction, but that Paparazzi, he does so much damage. He's going to be pulled back into the Wukong Span, though. And Thompson getting all of that life steal is actually healing up. Same as Anna. They're both dead. They survived through all of those Mjolnir shots until Yang and Fade recommit with the Freezing Field. It's a good one. They do have the silence going out as well as the Crush. Seb healing up inside of his rib. Come on, he's up. He got him. He finally pulled him into the mine. He knew it was there They're too. Going oh, the They're, They're going to get another one! They're going to get another one! They're going to jump on top of Yang, who has the corrosive base, so he just gets one shot. That's a team wipe for OG.